this video, I'm going to be working out an individual limit. We're going to take a look at the limit as x approaches 0 of 3x plus sine x all over x. Now, it's a pretty common practice whenever you've got um, a trig um, portion inside a limit that you're going to try to use one of those trig identities which you know to be true. Uh, this also has a quotient in it, so if I can take that quotient and divide it up into two rational functions that have been added, it sometimes lends itself um, to making the problem easier. So we're going to take a look at the limit as x approaches 0, and I'm going to separate that numerator into a 3x over x plus a sine x all over x. All right, and what that does then is once you make the determination on how you're going to split it up, all right, first of all, then go back and see, okay, if I add those two fractions, do I get the original quotient? And yes, I do. So you want to make sure that you split it up accurately, correctly. And then the purpose of splitting it up is to see if you can't find one of the trig properties that you know to be true. There's sine x of x. We know that's going to be equal to 1. All right, over here with the 3x over x, I'm going to be able to take those x's and cross them out because anything over itself is always 1. So then my next line is going to look like, and if I wanted to go ahead and separate this up into two individual limits, I could say this is the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 plus the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine x over x. Like I said, we know that one goes to 1. The limit of a constant is a constant, so I'm going to have 3 plus 1 for an overall limit of 4. So uh, pretty straightforward here. You do have to have the limits of those trig properties, various pr trig properties memorized, and then you also have to have a few tricks on how to separate that original rational function to make the problem workable. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget